Hey guys, this is Cameron with Addicted Fishing and Guide Catching Guide Service. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to more effectively fish a Brad's Wiggler. This is the third part of a series. And if you haven't checked out our first part of the series, which is fishing a Brad's Wiggler in current, and our second part with our hook configuration, be sure to check those out. All right guys, so we're gonna start with talking about tuning the plug. Now, there's many videos and demonstrations out there on how to tube, tune a plug. All you do is you adjust the eye one way or another to get the plug to effectively dive deep. The deeper the diving plug, the more fish you're gonna catch. It's gonna get in front of more fish. Now, take your time to do it. I see a lot of guys out there and they'll fish a plug that's just a little bit wandering off to the side. But in a long cast, that could be the difference of a plug diving four feet and a plug diving nine or 10 feet. So make sure that your plugs are always properly tuned. Next, use a thin diameter braid or monofilament. Now I prefer like a 20 or 30 pound braid versus like using a 10 or 12 pound monofilament just because I get a lot of abrasion resistance. But using a thinner line creates less drag. So as you cast that plug out, that plug is able to dive deeper because it's not pulling a bunch of like real thick 30 pound test line through the water. A deeper diving plug is a fishier plug. You guys, rhythm is everything when working a Brad's Wiggler. As you cast it out, you'll feel like a certain vibration and honestly, you can watch your line angle and you can tell how deep your plug is diving with that certain vibration. Once you get into that rhythm and you're casting that out, try to achieve that every time whether you're casting up current, cross current, or down current. And my fourth tip, guys, is pay attention to your size presentation when running a Brad Wiggler. This year on the rivers of the Northwest, we had a low clear conditions. And one thing that I was finding out were the plugs that had the clearer bills show a different profile in the water than ones that are painted or chromed out all the way through the bill. And I can tell you what, in the low clear conditions, using one that had a clear bill versus a painted or a chromed out bill made all the difference in the world. And like I said, it's just from the plug from being that big to looking that big in the water. All right guys, and last but not least, kind of touching on those low clear water conditions, there will be times and places that I will use about a four to six foot piece of 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon leader in front of my wiggler, just so I can get that stealth effect. If you guys like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Addicted Fishing. We'll see you guys on the water.